Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, uh, troubleshooting enterprise networks one. Before coming to this activity, uh, friends, if you like to get my future uploading video info directly into our Gmail, consider subscribe. Well, coming to our activity, here we can see our addressing table. We will go through the background. This activity uses a variety of technologies you have encountered during your CCNA studies, including VLANs, STP, routing, intervillian routing, DHCP, NAT, PPP, and frame relay. Your task is to review the requirements, isolate and resolve any issues, and then document the steps you took to verify the requirements. Coming to the requirements, VLANs and access. S2 is the spanning tree root for VLAN 1, 10, and 20. S3 is the spanning tree root for VLAN 30 and 88. We will verify and uh, go one by one. Uh, first of all, we will go to the switch S2 and we will verify uh, the spanning tree. Coming to S2, CLI. show spanning tree and to here we can see the details here we can see uh, VLAN 1 here we can see VLAN 10 and here we can see VLAN 20. Once we observe this uh, uh, show output, uh, here we can see this S2 is uh, not the spanning tree root for uh, VLAN 1, 10, and 20. We will document that. Coming to our spreadsheet, here the device is uh, S2. And here the problem is uh, this switch is not the root bridge for uh, VLANs 1, 10, and 20. For the VLANs, one comma ten comma twenty, and to here solution is we have to give the command spanning tree VLAN. We have to give those VLANs as root primary. Coming to the switch S2, enable password class, configure terminal, here we are going to give a spanning tree VLAN, we are going to specify those VLANs for a root primary that is 1 comma 10 comma 20, a root primary. Now we will verify the configuration. Show spanning tree. Here we can see VLAN 1 and this, uh, this uh, bridge is the root. Coming to VLAN 10, here we can see this bridge is the root. Coming to VLAN 20, here we can see this bridge is the root. Now we will come to uh, S3. Uh, S3 is the spanning tree root for uh, VLAN 30 and 88. We will verify that. Coming to S3. CLI. Enable password is class. Show spanning tree. Now we have to verify. VLAN 30, here we can see that. This bridge is the root, yes, it's correct. And coming to VLAN 88, here we can see this bridge is the root. Hence, this uh, S3 uh, is the spanning tree root for VLAN 30 and VLAN 88. 
Next is the trunk links connecting to the switches are in native VLAN 99. Here we can see uh, three switches S1, S2 and S3. We will verify these uh, links here. Here we can see it's a fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2, 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4. So uh, these are the ports connected uh, each other. First of all we will verify uh, in this switch S1. Here itself we can see a native VLAN mismatch discovered on fast Ethernet 0 slash 4, even 0 slash 3, 0 slash 2 etc etc. Anyway we will check with our show command. Password is class, uh, show running config and we will check those interfaces. Here we can see a G, uh, interface uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 till 0 slash 4. Here we can see uh, here did not configure this uh, native VLAN. Now we will come to S2. Show running config. Here is those interfaces. Here we can see they configured this uh, trunk native VLAN 99. Yes, it's correct. So, S2 is configured correctly. Now we will come to S3. Show running config. And here we can see that to switch for trunk native VLAN 99. Yes, in this S3 also configured correctly. Hence, here we have seen this switch S1, uh, we have to configure native VLAN 99 for the interfaces fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 till uh, 0 slash 4. Coming to the documentation part, here the device is uh, S1 and the problem identified is a uh, native VLAN mismatch. And here the solution is we have to go to those interfaces. So interface as a range we can go fast Ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 till 4. Then we have to give that command uh, switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Coming to the configuration on this uh, switch S1. Yes Configure terminal interface or range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 till 4. Here we are going to give a switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Next is R3 is responsible for inter VLAN routing and serves as the DHCP server for VLANs 10, 20, and 30. Before coming to the router R3, in our addressing table, here we can see uh, the details of uh, R3. Here we can see the sub interfaces uh, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.88, uh, and its uh, details. Now we will come to the router R3. Password is class. Show running config. And we will check the details. Here we can see sub interface details. Encapsulation dot one q IP address one dot twenty. Yes, it's correct. This informations are correct. Now we will go to a DHCP configuration. Here we can see that. Here we can see uh, pools created for uh, uh, VLANs. VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. Also we can see each VLAN's excluded address here. The first 10 address is uh, excluded. So these informations are correct. Here we can see this router R3 is responsible for inter-VLAN routing 
and here we can see the switch S3 which is connecting to this router R3 here we can see the interface that is gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, so this interface should be uh, the mode should be trunk we will uh, verify that now now we will come to the switch S3 enable password is class here we are going to give the show command show running config and we are going to verify the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can see that switch port trunk native VLAN 99 switch port mode access here we can see uh, this uh, uh, port mode is access should be trunk mode we have to change this mode from access to trunk by giving the command switch port mode trunk after reconfiguring uh, this uh, switch port mode from access uh, to trunk these PCs that is PC1, PC2, PC3 uh, from these VLANs are going to get the IP address uh, from our DHCP server uh, that is R3 router. Hence here we identified the problem on the device S3. We will document that. Here the device is S3 and the problem is the PCs uh, do not pull a DHCP address until we give a switch port mode trunk. For that, we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Then we have to give a switch port mode trunk. Coming to the implementation uh, on the switch S3. Configure terminal, we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. And here we have to give a switch port, switch port mode as uh, trunk. Now we will verify the IP address of uh, each PCs here. First of all, we will come to PC1, Desktop, IP Configuration. Here we can see uh, it got IP address from the DHCP server. Default Gateway. Coming to PC2. Here we can see the details. Coming to PC3. Here we can see the details. Next is routing. Each router is configured with the EIGRP and uses AS22. R2 is configured with the default route pointing to the ISP and redistributes the default route. Here we can see the details. So here is the router R2 and we can see uh, this device, this router R2 is connected to uh, this ISP here. So they already configured a default route pointing to this ISP. Anyway, we will verify these informations. First of all, we will come to the router R2. Enable password is class. Here we are going to give the command show running config and we will verify the details. Here we can see router EIGRP22 redistribute static also we can see the networks here it's r2 coming to our addressing table here we can see the network details so these informations are correct also here we can see the default route ip route right uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can see that Oh, here we can see the interface. It's gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. But in our configuration, here we can see the given gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So here the default route is pointing to the incorrect interface. Uh, so this interface uh, should be gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Hence, uh, here we identified a problem on the device uh, R2. Uh, we will uh, document that. Coming to our 
documentation table here we can see the device is r r2 and the problem is default root is pointing to the incorrect interface well so here is the solution we have to remove that ip root command 0 .0 .0 0 .0 0 0.0.0 space 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and the interface g0 slash 0 here we have to give the command we'll copy here here we have to give the interface g0 slash 1 now we will come to the implementation on the router R2 configure terminal here we have to remove no IP root 0 .0 .0 .0, space 0 .0 .0 .0, and the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we have to give control A now we are going to remove here and here the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 now we will verify the routing on R1 password is class show running config here we can see the details so router EIGRP 22 and here we can see the networks we can check in our addressing table here we can see two directly connected networks on this device R1 so it's correct now we will come to the router R3 show running config and we have to verify the routing here we can see that router EIGRP22 and here we can see the networks details coming to our addressing table here we can see the router R3 and its details so all the informations are correct next is the NAT is configured on R2 and no untranslated address are permitted to cross the internet coming to the router R2 and we will verify the NAT show running config and here we can see the details IP NAT inside source list NAT interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 overload it's correct and here we can see the access list NAT here we can see it's created here IP access list standard NAT and it permits uh, these networks these informations are correct now we have to check uh, outside and inside uh, NAT before that coming to topology here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 we have to give uh, IP NAT outside and the other interfaces that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP NAT inside we will check the configuration details here we can see that gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can see uh, that interface in our topology uh, this should be uh, IP NAT inside but here we can see they given IP NAT outside so we have to correct it we also we will check the other interfaces so here we can see uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can see IP NAT inside so this should be IP NAT outside and coming to a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP NAT inside is correct interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP NAT inside it's correct hence here we identified a problem on the uh, device R2 we will document that here the device again R2 here the problem is a TFTP server cannot ping, ping the outside host 
so here we have to give a character outside and inside a NAT first of all we have to go to the interface G0 slash 0 and we have to remove no IP NAT outside and here we have to give IP NAT inside sorry also we have to go to the interface gigabit third zero slash one and here we have to give IP NAT outside now coming to the configuration on the router R2 configure terminal first of all we will go to the interface gigabit third zero slash zero and we will remove a no IP NAT outside and here we will give IP NAT inside. Also we will go to the interface gigabit third zero slash one and here we will give IP NAT outside. Now we will check the configuration show running config. Here we can see interface gigabit third zero slash zero IP NAT inside and here we can see G0 slash 1 IP NAT outside. Next is WAN technologies. The serial link between R1 and R2 uses a frame relay. Here we can see that in our topology uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R1 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R2 uses a frame relay. We will verify that. First of all, we will verify on R1, CLI, enable password is class, show running config, and we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see that. Here we are going to uh, configure frame relay. Here we cannot see uh, that frame relay is configured. So we have to configure on this device R1. Also, we will uh, check on the router R2. Password is class show running config. And we will verify serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see that. Here also we have to set uh, the encapsulation frame relay. Now we will document uh, this identified problem. Here the device is R1. The problem is uh, R1 and uh, R2 are not forming adjacency. So here we have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have to set the encapsulation. as frame relay same thing on R2 also here is that coming to the configuration on R1 first configure terminal and we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give encapsulation as frame relay now we will go to R2 configure terminal we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we are going to set encapsulation frame relay Next is the serial link between R2 and R3 uses HDLC encapsulation. Uh, coming to our topology, here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on the device R2 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R3 uh, uses HDLC encapsulation. We will verify that. First of all, we will verify on R2. Enable password is class show running config and we will verify the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 
so here we cannot see uh, any encapsulation that means by default it's HDLC uh, we can verify that using show interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and here we can see encapsulation HDLC now we will come to R3 enable password is class so show running config coming to the interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 Yes, it's a DLC. We will verify using show interfaces serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. And here we can see that it's correct. Next is the serial link between R1 and R3 uses PPP with the CHAP authentication. So, coming to a topology, here we can see. Uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R3 and uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R1 uses uh, point to point protocol. We will verify that. First of all, we will uh, check on the router R3. Show running config. And here we have to check the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see that encapsulation PPP. And we can see authentication CHAP. So here we have to check the username and password. Here we can see username R1 and password uh, Cisco CCNA. It's correct. Here we can see the username R1. Now we will come to R1. And we will check the interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here we can see that. Encapsulation PPP authentication CHAP. It's correct. And we have to check the username and password. Here we can see that username CCNA. Here we can see this uh, username uh, they set uh, incorrectly. Uh, and here we can see the password Cisco CCNA. Here we have to give a username as uh, uh, R3. Now we will document the identified problem on this router R1. Coming to our spreadsheet. Here the problem identified on the device R1. And here the username is incorrect. So we have to configure that the username R3 password zero cisco ccna coming to the configuration on the router r1 configure terminal here we are going to give a username as r3 and the password cisco ccna Coming to the connectivity, devices should be configured according to the addressing table. Every device should be able to ping every other device. Right, so we will check the connectivity now. We will try to ping from this PC1 to other PCs. So coming to PC1, desktop, command prompt. First of all, we will get the IP address of a PC2. So here we can see that. ping to 192.168.20.11 here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try to ping to this PC3 that is 30.11 here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try to ping to this TFTP server so we will get the IP address of TFTP server. Here we can see that. I will copy this address. Ping to TFTP server. Here we can see we are getting the replay. And now we will try to ping to this outside host. Ping 209.165.201.11. Here we can see we are getting the replay. 
Well, that's all in this packet tracer activity, uh, troubleshooting enterprise uh, networks one. Here we can see our uh, completion status uh, 60 out of 60. Friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info directly into your Gmail. Thank you.